Hi everyone! In this video, we will see how we can price American options using a backward recursive algorithm in a binomial model. As a reminder, the buyer of an American option has the right to exercise the option at any time before and including the maturity date of the option. We consider a partition of time T0TN with n plus 1 dates. We assume that there is no possible arbitrage. We know that in this framework, the price of a European option is equal to the discounted expectation of its final payoff under the risk neutral probability Q with R, the risk free interest rate. For American options, we don't have such simple expression, but as we will see, we can easily calculate the price with a backward recursion. We consider an American option, its price is V, the underlying asset price is S, and the payoff of the option is phi of S. At the expiry date TN, the price of the American option is equal to the final payoff. At the previous date, the options holder will decide to exercise the option if it is interesting for him. So if the value of exercising the option is higher than the value of keeping it. So we get the following expression for the price of the American option at Tn minus 1. It is equal to the maximum between the value of exercising the option at Tn minus 1 and the value of keeping it, which is the discounted expectation of the value of the American option at the next date. So we see that we can easily calculate the price of the option with a backward recursion. We place in a coxworth rubinstein binomial model, the underlying asset price can go up by a factor u with a probability q and down by a factor d with a probability 1 minus q. As a reminder, in a binomial model, the risk-neutral probability q has the following expression and the upward and downward factors u and d are determined from the volatility sigma of the underlying asset price. In this binomial framework, we know the n plus 1 possible prices of the American option at the final date Tn. It is equal to the payoff of the option applied to the n plus 1 possible values of the underlying asset price. Then we calculate the n possible prices for the American option at the previous date by applying the backward recursion formula. The possible values of exercising the option are the payoff of the option applied to the n possible values of S, while the possible values of keeping it, which are the discounted expectations of the values of the American option at the next date, are calculated from the possible values if the stock goes up or down with the probability Q and 1 minus Q. So going backward from Tn to T0, we can calculate the price of the American option recursively. First, we determine the boundary conditions. Then we calculate with a backward recursive algorithm the price of the American option. At maturity, the price of the American option is equal to the price of the corresponding European option. And it can be easily shown that at the previous date, the American option, which gives more rights than an European option, has a higher price. It can be shown by using the backward recursion formula for the American option price and the fact that the European option price is equal to the discounted expectation of the future price. I let you show that as an exercise. For call options, the price of American and European options are the same if we assume no dividend payments and a positive risk-free interest rate. Indeed, there is no benefit for the American call option holder to exercise the option before it expires. The price of the option is always higher than the exercise price. This can be shown by applying the Jensen inequality to the expected payoff of the call option. We multiply both sides of the inequality by the discounted factor. On the right side, the first term is the discounted expectation of the stock price, which is equal to the stock price at T, while the second term is higher than minus the strike price. 
So we get that the price of the option is always higher than the exercise price at T. Thank you for your time.